Town San Diego and I'm waiting to go take a haunted ghost tour tonight this one's actually a bus driven one so we're gonna get on and off the bus which is gonna save me a lot of steps I think which is good because I'm extremely tired because I got into San Antonio at 1 o'clock in the morning yesterday and they got up early today to fly out here to San Diego so I've been in a total of nine different time zones in about 30 hours. So we'll see if we can get scared or not. shops and restaurants and bars and you can even get a beanie cap for when it's 50 degrees outside and you didn't plan for it well. Plus I'm going on a welling tour tomorrow in the morning so I figure I might get one just in case it's really cold out there.
Last night, I didn't get a chance to do the final review for the Haunted San Diego Ghost Tour that I did yesterday. I booked it through Viter. It was like $58 and some change. It was like the most expensive ghost tour I've taken. So I was kind of like, well, let me let me just see how it is. You know, when you're you know around California, you know everything's going to be expensive anyway. So I took this ghost tour. And this was probably the best ghost tour I have ever been on. I've been on one in Hawaii. I've been on one in Australia. I've been on one in Texas. Um, there's a couple others that I've done. But this is like the, the best one. And at the end, he's like, you know, I told you that uh, Cowboy Pete, he was the uh, guide. So if you're going to go to San Diego and do a ghost tour, make sure you go to the Haunted San Diego Ghost Tour and make sure that Cowboy Pete is your guide. But he's like, at the beginning, he said, I'm going to show you at the end that ghosts do exist. And then we get to the end, and he's like, you remember how I told you that? He's like, I'm going to show you. Like, every time a ghost is around, they leave a little something of themselves so you know that they were there. So then he goes out and he gets his bag and he starts handing out these Ziploc bags. I'm like, what the heck? Well, they have little marshmallows and they say ghost droppings. <laughs> so I thought that was like funny. It was like the first time I've ever received anything on a ghost tour before. So uh, I highly recommend that you uh, look them up if you're in San Diego and you want to just see some cool places that you'll see. Uh, through this video and uh, it was nice because we also it was very immersive we got to go into buildings we got to go into haunted like buildings not walk in front of them and they talk about it this company they built up such a reputation with some of these places around here that they give them copies of the keys so they can go in and out of the building as they want and they even give them the alarm code so there's like doo -doo -doo -doo, and in the building I'm like I mean, it's, uh, that just speaks volumes to me about the reputation of that company. So hopefully it resonates with you and you can enjoy some of Cowboy Pete's um, antics and uh, entertainment.